Hello, I am Alicia Malik. I have came to the screen of Shiro Vision with some new pieces of news for you. India born Prince becomes youngest bishop in charge of England. An Indian born priest has been consecrated as a bishop in charge of England. Reverend Malayal Lukos Varghese Muthailel, known as Saju, is the youngest bishop in the charge of England. Saju 42 will be the next bishop of Logborov. He was consecrated with a staff or crozier made on Indian roads during Eucharist service at St. Paul Cathedral in London by the Archbishop of Canterbury on Tuesday. Saju's recommendation was made by the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson following which he was appointed by Queen Elizabeth. I have been preparing for the service very much hour of what a great privilege it is that people around the world were praying for this moment. There is a very strong sense of the wider charge affirming this calling. PTI quoted Saju as saying, the ceremony was attended by two of Saju's four children, Zib and Abraham, who joined him for prayers during the service. According to a report in PTI, Saju spent in childhood in Kerala and Bengaluru. He grew up in Leprosy Hospital in Bengaluru, where his mother was a nurse. He did his education at the South Indonesia Bible College in Bengaluru and trained for the ministry at W.I. Cliff Hall, Oxford. Saju has now spent 21 years in England where he arrived during a gap year. He currently serves as a vicar at St. Mark's Gillingham and St. Mary's Island in the Diocese of Rochester, a role which he assumed in 2019. Before this, he was a priest in charge in the Diocese. Previously, Saju served his title at St. Thomas Lancaster in the Diocese of Blackburn and was ordained priest in the Church of England in 2009. East Saju was appointed associated vicar at St. Thomas Candle and St. Catherine's Group in the Diocese of Carlisle, Northwest England in 2011. FR against Veta Tiwari for hurting religious sentiments with bra comment. An FR has been filled against actor Sweta Tiwari for allegedly hurting religious sentiments with a controversial statement during a discussion on a new web series in Bhopal. The case was registered under Section 295E of the Indian Penal Code at the Shamla Hills Police Station in Bhopal. During the launch event of the wave, Sri Sweta had said that her bra size is being taken by Bhagavan, which did not go down well with many. Sweta had made the controversial statement, had made the controversial during the promotion of her upcoming wave series, which also stars Saurav Rajan and Rohit Roy. The affair came soon after Madhya Pradesh Home Minister Narutta Mishra took cognizance of Sweta's theory controversial statement. While speaking to the media on Thursday, Narutta Mishra said, I have seen and heard Sweta Tiwari's statement. I condemn it. I have instructed Bhopal Police Commissioner to investigate and submit a report to me soon. Action will be taken after that. Sweta Tiwari was recently in Bhopal to promote her upcoming web series, which is based on the fashion world. The series also stars Sobhrab Chan and who is known as playing Lord Krishna in Mahabharat. Speaking about the same Sweta is here saying in video, Mary Braka says Bhagavan le rahe hai. She is being criticized for her statement and joking about God. COVID-19 survival story, Malayali Frontline workers inspiring recovery after six months of intense treatment. Arun Kumar M. Nair, an operating theatre technician from Kerala who was fighting COVID as a frontline worker in Abu Dhabi, contracted coronavirus in July 2021. He was working as a part of COVID 19 task force at 
LLH hospital Abu Dhabi during that period. He had been a staff at the hospital for 13 years then. Arun quarantined himself soon after testing positive, but his health condition deteriorated while under quarantine. He had breathing difficulties and the checkup revealed that his lungs were severely infected. Now Arun has made a miraculous recovery after breathing for 118 days with the help of an artificial lung and is set to come home to Kerala to meet his family and friends. In a function held at Burzi Hospital in Abu Dhabi, Arun's colleagues also handed over financial assistance to him as a token from them. A job will be offered to Arun's wife and his child education will be covered by the healthcare group. According to Arun, he doesn't remember much of what happened during his intense fight for life. I do not remember anything. I know I had barely escaped from the jaws of death. It is strength of the prayers of the, my family, friends and hundreds of others that I am alive today, said Arun. Zero Vision Shabar Shati, Shabar Pashi Zero Vision Zero Vision Aaj Kolkata, Tatha Gram Banglar, Koshchim Bangir Shadhar and Manushir Pashi Shedari Zero Vision Shabar Shati, Shabar Pashi Aapnaro Padin Zero Vision Air Maton, Shabar Pashi Shedarati Ashunna Shahajir Had Badiedi Aapnaro Jodi Shahajokurti Chan তলারি নাম্বারগুলোর সাথে যোগাযোগ করতে পারে প্রত্যেকটাই আমাদের জিরো ভিশন সংস্থার নাম্বার ভালো থাকুন সুস্থ থাকুন দ্যাটস ইটস ফর টুডে ফর মি অ্যান্ড মাই টিম থ্যাংক ইউ ফর ওয়াচিং প্লিজ স্টে সেফ অ্যান্ড স্টে অ্যাট হোম ইফ ইউ লাইক আওয়ার চ্যানেল প্লিজ ডু সাবস্ক্রাইব লাইক শেয়ার অ্যান্ড কমেন্ট থ্যাংক ইউ